Hey Virgos, this is your reading for December 2020. Some of us have sign. Let's go ahead and jump right in with each other. We're going to see what you guys are preparing yourselves for here, okay? Guys, I have put all the readings in the playlist under your, <clears throat> under your zodiac sign, okay? These are timeless readings. I feel, um, I feel like time is fluid here, so these readings can apply to people at different times. So I put it under your zodiac signs so you can find them easily or if you want to cross watch you can do that as well on a particular zodiac sign okay Virgo let's go ahead and move in what is Virgo preparing themselves for in the month of December going forward what, is, what message do you have here for my Virgos no jumpers okay Virgo, <clears throat> mental conflict. Two of swords coming in. You have the seven of wands. The four of pentacles. Okay. The three of cups. Six of cups. In the will of fortune so you've grown out you've outgrown a situation or connection or a particular particular way that you've been doing things that's what i'm saying here okay um i feel like they're also saying with this two of swords here and this three of cups that you need to possibly pay attention to your connections your relationships who you spend the most of your time with here um like somebody got you messed up <laughs> okay that's what i'm feeling here okay um it's someone that you're dealing with in a connection or a relationship this could be a romance or a a, a connection with a family member or friends here um in the month of december you guys may not be seeing eye to eye okay but i feel like um, that's not going to break your connection with this person. It's not going to make you guys uh, separate from whoever this is. You just are not seeing things um, eye to eye. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Um, this could be a past person coming back with the Six of Cups coming in here. All right, and they're telling you to stand your ground with the Seven of Wands. Kind of protect yourself, protect your energy, protect what you are going to really put your time and attention into uh, in the month of December here, okay? They're saying keep a positive mindset with the Six of Cups as well. Um, stay very, keep your vibes high, okay? Keep your vibes high here. All right, let's go ahead and clarify some of this. I see some good changes coming in towards you. You have the Five of Wands coming in. Okay, good changes. You may have some arguments with a loved one, a friend, a family member, um, a partner here. But like I said, it won't last. That energy won't last. You have the Ace of Wands coming in. Um, letting me know that positive change is definitely um, around the corner for you here. Some new energy where you won't have to focus your time um, on defending yourself, defending your beliefs here. Someone has a different belief system as you. That's what I'm feeling. If this could be in regards to a relationship or spirituality, someone has a different belief system here, but the spirits want you to continue to move forward um, and stand up for what you believe and what you feel um, and what you practice, where you put in your energy um, as well, okay? Where you put your energy. Why is the Four of Pentacles coming in here? Oh, that's a like two of swords. Okay. This may be someone that is, um, 
that I just got this in, okay? I'm just feeling this, like someone is trying to borrow money from you or wanting you to provide for them or take care of them here, okay? And they feel like you should be doing this and you shouldn't have a problem with it here, okay? This could be a lover, fr friend, family member here. But it feels with the Two of Swords constantly popping up here that this person... Um, thinks differently um, than you, which is nothing wrong with that. But I feel like they expect you to provide for them or give you, uh, you give them your time, your energy, possibly your money with the pentacles rolling in here. Like your focus should be on them instead of yourself here. That's what I'm feeling. But the universe is pulling you in a new direction, saying that new beginnings are available for you here. You need to focus on your own journey, your own path, okay? Whether that is you growing spiritually, you possibly saying no to friends, family members, loved ones, relationships, okay? People that want to overuse you and abuse you here, okay? I feel like you're giving out a lot right now, Virgo, giving out a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, Um but it's not being brought back towards you. You have, be careful of the takers because they don't mind taking, okay? That's the message here. They don't mind taking, but they rarely give, okay? So pay attention to those type of connections where you constantly have to give of yourself, but no one's bringing back anything towards you here. I see a lot of change coming in. That energy kind of dying off for you, realizing that it's time for you to change, Um yourself so I, f I feel like there is definitely your thinking is changing here in the month of December you may be more focused um, on yourself um, in the month of December right okay let's take a look at love for you here Virgo mental conflict be careful of People that may be narcissistic. This could be a friend, family member, okay, parent, someone you're in a, a romantic relationship with, okay, or was in a romantic relationship with, with the Six of Cups. They feel like you need to continuously give your time, your attention, your money, and that you just have to be there and provide for them here. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And when you don't, there is an argument or a conflict or an issue with you wanting to say no. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. Let's take a look at love. Right. See you walking away from that. What? You're like, I don't have time for that. I need to take care of Virgo. See you withdrawing, walking away from something or someone. Okay. No hard feelings, but you got to take care of yourself. That's what I feel like you're saying. In the cards here for Virgo. In love. What is Virgo preparing themselves for in love? What is this person's feelings or intentions towards my Virgos here? Okay, well, you got the page of cups moving in in the reverse position. Dealing with someone that is really, um, their attitude may be very quick, volatile at times. Like, they may be very sensitive, uh, overly sensitive, but resistant to change, okay? Yes. Like, they don't, they feel like they don't have to give back towards you. Return the same love or, um, return the same love that you're giving out, here, okay oh my goodness controlling you have the queen of wands so you may be dealing with someone that is very mean spirited and controlling or competitive wanting to be more better than you okay you got the ace of wands in reverse and the six of swords i feel like once you stop feeding them your energy here you may see this person run or just <laughs> fall off the map with the six of swords or move out of your way and they know that they need to move out of your way um, because you don't give them the time or attention uh, that you used to give to them okay that's what i'm feeling this person feeds off your energy i feel um 
and they try to control your mind okay that's why you have mental conflicts or what am i feeling here it feels like uh guilt trips okay someone's playing a guilt trip on you for some reason some of my virgos you do say no to someone but then they become very um shitty towards you let me just put it that way here i don't feel like this person has any intentions on changing or seeing your point of view or showing you any um very little respect with the ace of wands in the reverse position <clears throat> i feel like they get what they need or their ego in some way is satisfied when they're messing with you or trying to control you and then they're gone here, okay? What message does this person have here for Virgo in the month of December? Lots of page of cups here. They're saying, I feel you leaving me behind. That's what it is, okay? They're like, pay attention to me and only me. I feel like you don't love me anymore, but they don't show love either. <laughs> okay, maybe when you need help, they're not available um, to be there for you. Okay, and the universe is saying stand up for yourself with the seven of wands. Protect your energy, protect your space. Okay, maybe you need to stop letting someone come into your house and just take up your um, take up your time. I feel like energetically they may leave some of their negativity behind. Okay, and that's still affecting you. In some type of way. Why is it queen? Okay. Queen of rock, rods here. They're saying I replay our conversations over and over again. Yeah. I feel like you saying no or you rejecting them in some way here, Virgo, replays in their mind. And they feel really crappy about that with the queen of wands in reverse. Just trying to find new ways to overcome you or get back at you that's someone that is really mean um mean spirited okay with that queen of rods in the reverse position either jealous mean spirited <laughs> is someone that is very insecure in themselves okay they're saying i hope that you can forgive me one day they have the ace of rods they have no intentions of changing but they want you to forgive them and continue on a connection on their terms that's what it feels like what else does this person need to say virgo i bury myself and work to forget you or i just forget whatever you say to me because it doesn't really matter to me anyway with that six of swords I feel like they just do things to forget what you're saying um, or refuse to acknowledge your feelings, okay? What message is here for Virgo? Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party of interference, Moving from the five of swords here to the six of swords, you may have been dealing with someone that had a very selfish energy here. Very selfish energy. They may have had third party interference if you were in a relationship with them. It may have been with someone at work that they were dealing with here. Okay. Okay how this is playing out with this seduction card. Why is the Ace of Rods here? What message do you have for Virgo? Okay. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in their head. I feel like they don't want you to see them in a negative light, okay? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception 
here. And that's what this Queen of Rods energy is. Whether it's a male or a female, this person is really crappy towards you here. Okay. I feel like they definitely try to play it off um, in some type of way. Like they act like, oh, everything's okay. We don't have any beef between each other. There's no problem, but they create the problems. That's what it is. Stabbed in the back. Deception. Deception. Shocking attacks. Okay. Um, or them just lashing out at you verbally here. Okay. They're saying, I feel you leaving me behind. What message do you have here for Virgo? This page of cups. It's like the love is lost, okay? The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life right now at this moment. And pay attention to yourself. Continue to hold on to what you believe. Uh, with the four of pentacles there, seek security for yourself. Take your power back. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? With that four of pentacles, they're talking about a firm foundation and creating it and possibly letting a situation um, go with the destiny card here, okay? They're saying everybody can't come with. Someone can't come with you, okay? With the will of fortune here. You are transforming your life. They're saying grow and transform your life from who? whatever situation that you have chose to walk away from okay someone that is doesn't have your best interests at heart okay what message do you have here okay that was quick balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it here virgo a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges here and i feel like definitely someone's not supporting you okay but they feel like you should be supporting them period it's time for you to take your power back and move on to something new grow and transform and leave a situation behind here okay that is y'all reading virgo i do appreciate each and every one of you guys make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because i will be back with you and like i said in the beginning of the video i have put all of your readings in the playlist under your zodiac sign i'm gonna start doing that from now on okay you can watch it at any time because these readings are timeless okay so something last month may resonate this month um and so on and so forth all right so use your intuition, let it guide you to whatever video you feel like you need to watch. Um, I, I'm sure you'll find some message that is there for you. See you guys later, Virgo. Bye.